Lucy Show, starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. something. What was it? I don't know, but I must have forgotten something. I still have a dollar left. <laughs> Good. Give me a dollar for three weeks. Oh, now, Viv, give me that. I need it. That's all the money I have until Mr. Mooney gives me my allowance next month. Well, okay. You were almost mine there for a minute, George. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, honey. Mom? What? I just counted my money, and all I need is two dollars and ten cents, and I'll Thirty whole dollars. Well, that's wonderful, honey. That will be my half of the deal. Deal? Remember, last summer you said if I saved thirty, you'd add thirty, and we'd have enough. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, that's right. Sure, with your thirty and my thirty, we'll have enough, all right. So maybe we can go into New York next Saturday and buy it. Buy what? A tuba. <laughs> A tuba. <laughs> Of course, a tuba. Boy, I'm gonna have a brand new second-hand tuba. <laughs> and I'm gonna take lessons. And one of these days, I'll get to play in the school band. Of course you will, dear. <laughs> you know, Mom, this might be the turning point of my entire life. <laughs> Where did he get all that money? Running errands and saving out of his allowance. It's just my luck to have an industrious son. <laughs> yeah, but it's too bad he didn't take after you. Viv, Jerry has got his heart set. I'm going into New York Saturday to buy that tube. Now, where am I going to get the money? Don't look at me. Well, looks like it's back to the help wanted columns. Where's that paper? Right there. Oh. Here we are. Oh, listen to this. Airline stewardess wanted. Oh, darn, it's not for me. You have to be between 20 and 27. <laughs> yeah, you're at that awkward age. Too old for a stewardess and too young for social security. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh, hey, maybe I found something. Part-time job, no knowledge of banking required. Apply Mr. Mooney, Danfield Bank. That's it. You gotta be kidding. Mr. Mooney give you a job? Well, he handles my finances. He certainly knows that I need money. I'll bet he'd be glad to let me work in his bank. Work with him in his bank? Why not? Oh, look, the way Mr. Mooney feels about you, he practically hands you your allowance through the night deposit slot. <laughs> now, Viv, he just pretends to be a grumpy old tightwad because he doesn't want me to spend too much money. Underneath, he's a real sweetheart. Do you really believe that? No. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, will you all gather around, please? Come out from behind there. Uh, before the bank opens, I want to show you a new safety device. Would you step over that way, please? Now then, although you can't detect it, directly below each teller's window, there is a trap door. And under the counter behind each window is a button which controls each door. And now over there by my desk are some more buttons. Now, if a masked bandit walks up to a teller's window, whips out a gun, and demands all the cash on hand, all the teller has to do is press the button. Now, those buttons over by my desk, I will press in case any of you tellers chicken out. <laughs> uh, George, will you press button A, please? Now, watch carefully. Watch the floor in front of the window. See? It opens. And until the police arrive, our thug is snug as a bug. Oh, that's just great. That's the cleverest thing I've ever seen. Well, thank you. Thank you. It's my own invention. It's yes. Invention. yes, I call it Mooney's Hiderhood. Oh. <laughs> you bring it up now, George. 
thank you for your attention, and uh, oh, it's time to open the bank. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> you can open the door now. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Mooney. Oh, oh, it's you, Miss Carmichael. Uh, what can I do for you? It's about your ad in the Danfield Tribune. You know someone who wants the job. Yes. Uh, what's the name? Lucille Carmichael. Let me write that down. <laughs> Lucille Carmichael. When she gets here, you have her come over to my desk and we'll just... Lucille Carmichael! <laughs> Yes, sir, I'm just the one to fill that job. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> Mr. Moody, I don't know why you say that after all the ad says no knowledge of banking required. There you have me. <laughs> you have about as little knowledge of banking as anyone I ever met. Well, okay, then. Do I get the job? No. Good day. But Mr. Mooney, please, when you, when you hear why I want the job, I'm sure you'll change your mind. Oh, no, I won't. <laughs> I need money. Well, surprise. I want to buy a tuba. A tuba? Yes, sir, it's for Jerry. I, I promised to help him buy a tuba. Sorry? All right, then, you leave me very little choice. I am just going to have to pester you until you give me an advance on my allowance. I'm going to nag you, I'm going to hound you, and I'm not going to give you a minute's peace. And you know I can do it, too, and I'm going to start right now. I need $30, I need $30, and I need it right now, and I'm not leaving this bank until I get it. And if I don't get it, I'm going to hold my breath. Yeah, please! <laughs> I know when I'm late. The job's yours. <laughs> Viv, Yes? Do you have a savings account with our bank? Why, no, I don't. Oh, well, then, could I have a moment of your time, please? Well, certainly. Uh, the Danfield Bank is very eager for you to open a savings account with them. Now, the Danfield Bank has assets of over $8 million and has been established since 1899, 65 years longer than any other bank in town. So, if you open your account today to show our gratitude, we will give you this free toaster. Now, do it today, sir. You never know when an opportunity like this will pop up again. <laughs> now, uh, you take this, sir. Go to the first window, make your deposit, bring it back to me, and I will give you your toaster. I'll think it over. Uh, Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, just what is the meaning of that pop-up passbook? <laughs> well, I, I just thought it would give the promotion a little bizazz. <laughs> 65-year-old banks frown on bizazz. <laughs> well, sir, I, I just thought that a cute approach might help. And how many new accounts have you gotten with this cute approach? Well, uh, I did a lot better than I did yesterday. Well, that shouldn't be difficult, because you didn't get any yesterday. <laughs> now, just how many new accounts have you signed today? Uh, well, um... <laughs> actually, none. <laughs> but, uh, I had two maybes. Three, I'd like to think it over, and one sure prospect. As soon as he goes home and asks his mother. <laughs> Fine. Well, now, let's just forget this uh, pop-up scheme here, shall we? <laughs> Mr. Mooney. And now what? Uh, could I use your phone, please? Is it personal or business? Oh, no, sir, it's business. Uh, Mrs. Bagley promised to come in today and transfer all of her savings from her New York bank, and I can't imagine what's keeping her. Very well. Oh, thank you. 
Is this the button I push for an outside line? Not that one! <laughs> those are the phone buttons. Well, what are those others? That is a secret. Oh, I love secrets. <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell you. This information can be revealed only to employees. Well, I'm an employee. You are a part-time employee. And unfortunately, you are a full-time blabbermouth. Carmichael, now you know our little secret. Is that to catch robbers? No. No. We put branches over it and trap tigers. Well, now, it isn't my fault. You should have taken me into your confidence. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, want, I, I want to call Vivian. I thought you promised to come down to the bank today. I did. Well, hurry up. I need you. Ah! Where have you been? Now, come on over here and get your passbook. Lucy, wait a minute. What? I'm not sure I'm doing the right thing. But, Viv, you promised. I know I did, and I'd like to help you out, but... Well, when I went to take my savings out of the Murray Hill Bank, I felt kind of funny. After all, my money's been in there for 20 years. That bank seems like an old friend. Well, I'm an old friend, too. Well, I know that, Lucy. But, uh... Look at I, it this way, Viv. When you have a big date, does the Murray Hill Bank let you borrow its velvet evening coat? <laughs> no. No. Mm -hmm. But that bank seems so secure. Are you sure my money will be safe in this bank? Oh, Viv, as safe as in your mother's money belt. Well, I don't know, Lucy. Look, look, it's been look. a long... Now, said... wait a minute. If that's it's... what you're worried about, can you keep a secret? <laughs> Come on in. You see those buttons there? Uh-huh. Now, look. If this bank is being held up, all somebody has to do is push one of those buttons, a trap door opens, and they dump the robbers into the hole. You just made that up to try to convince me. No, I didn't, Viv. It's the truth. Now, you can take my word for it. Now, come on and get your passbook. Well, 
Well, frankly, not too good. That's why I'm calling. I want you to do me a big favor. Oh, well, I'll do what I can. What is it? Well, I want you to draw all your savings out of the Danfield Bank this morning and redeposit them this afternoon. Lucy, that sounds crazy even for you. Listen, if you open a new account, you get a free toaster. Oh, really? Well, I could use a new toaster. Then you'll do it? Is it legal? <laughs> well, let me put it this way. It's not illegal. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Oh, good girl. But listen, we better keep it a secret. Sometimes Mr. Mooney doesn't see things the way I do. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, dear. I gotta run. Bye. Yeah, bye. you up for the meeting, I have to stop by the bank. <laughs> What's the matter? Did one of your checks bounce? <laughs> no, one of my checks didn't bounce. <laughs> I have to draw out all my savings. Why on earth are you going to do that? Well, it's because of Lucy. Things aren't going well at the bank, and she wants me to... Oh, dear. I wasn't supposed to tell that. Tell what? Well, it's a secret. Oh, that's never stopped you before. I'm sorry, Thelma. I can't say any more about it. I'll see you about 10.30. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello, Kathleen. Uh-huh. Kathleen, this is Thelma. We're going to be a little late getting to your house. Audrey has to go by the bank. Oh, why can't she do it this afternoon? Well, I don't know. She just said she was going to draw out all her savings, and apparently she wanted to do it right away. Well, what on earth did she want to do that for? She's been banking there for 15 years. Oh, it was something Lucy wanted her to do. She said Lucy told her things weren't going well at the bank. Wait a minute. Lucy works at the bank, and she told Audrey to draw her savings out in a hurry? Do you know what that means? <laughs> what? The bank is going to fail. Oh, no! Now, listen, we've got to hang up and tell our friends. <laughs> Only close friends. Yes. Hello. Hey, uh, Viv, uh, Charlie has the car. Can you give me a ride to the bank? Well, sure. Well, what's your big hurry? Oh, I see. You've got yours, so why worry about anybody else? <laughs> What are you talking about? You mean you don't know about the Danfield Bank? What about the Danfield Bank? It's going under. It can't. It can't. All of my life savings are in that bank. It just can't go under. You mean Lucy didn't tell you? No, she didn't. Oh, I shouldn't. I'll, I'll pick you up in a couple of minutes. I... Oh, I never should have. What's all this 1933 business? As if you didn't know. I'm really surprised at you, Lucy, not even telling your best friend. Tell you what? That the bank is failing. The bank is failing? Oh, that's preposterous. Of course the bank isn't failing. Why would you say such a thing? Kathleen told me. Selma told me. Well, Audrey told me she was taking all of her savings out. Well, Lucy told me to. <laughs> And who told you, Chicken Little? Well, I only asked her to take her savings out and put them back in so I could get a new account for the bank and I could keep my job and make enough money to buy Jerry his tuba. Remember, um papa, um papa, um papa. Oh, no. No, I, I can't understand where all these people are coming from. 
You girls didn't tell anybody else, did you? Oh, no, Lucy. You know us. <laughs> it's all over town. Hello? Oh, oh, this is getting serious. Oh, hey, 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 take it easy. Don't, don't get excited. Take it easy. Say, you know what this is? It's a run on the bank. What am I going to... I better get my money out. <laughs> Oh, oh, Mr. Mooney. What? Mr. Mooney, I'm terribly sorry. It's all my fault. I'll bet you'd like to kill me. It's a date right after the bank failed. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mooney, we got to think of something, some way to stop this. What I wouldn't give to have a hold-up man come in here. Why? Well, at least he'd scare everybody out of the place. But where can you find a good bank bandit when you need one? <laughs> <laughs> You're really gonna need my help. This is more important than your savings. We may be able to save the whole bank. And how are you going to do that? Come on, I'll explain on the way. <laughs>